हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द एस एनक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग इन शीशा सो बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द एस एनक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग वी विल सी लाइक व्हाट इज द सिंक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग इन शीशा सिंस शीशा सपोर्ट बोथ द सिंक्रोनस एंड एस एनक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस लाइक व्हाट इज द सिंक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग सो इन द सिंपल टर्म इफ यू विल सी द सिंगल लाइक सिंक्रोनस प्रोग्रामिंग इज लाइक a application which is running with the single thread for an example if we are having the multiple methods then as per the synchronous programming like it will execute all the method one by one it doesn't run a like method in the parallel way so executing of a code one after another is called the synchronous so in synchronous operation task are perform one at a time and only when one is completed the following is unblocked in other words you need to wait for a task to finish to move to the next one so that is the definition like at a time only one task or one method will execute and once that particular method will completed then it will go to the another method and it will execute that so synchronous programming is a process that start happening together at the same time a synchronous call wait for the method to complete before counting uh, counting with program flow so what is the problem like how bad this synchronous programming so it is a like uh, it's not a good practice to do programming with the synchronous way and the reason is like it badly impact the ui that has just one thread to run its entire user interface code so it will give the poor performance over this one and give the like bad experience to the customers and synchronous behavior leave end user with a bad user experience and a blocked ui whenever the user attempt a uh, user attempt to perform some lengthy operation for an example i'm going to if i'm using the synchronous programming and i'm fetching some data from the database and the data is taking around 2 minutes so in that time if i will not use um, any other thread then what will happen while fetching the data from the database the screen will be stuck and end user will think like that particular uh, system is has frozen down and that give the bad performance over the user experience so let's understand this synchronous pro uh, problem with an example so here i created a one windows application and in this windows application what i have done i created a small design and in this small design i have taken a one button and with that i have taken a one label so here you can see i have a one label and one button and this button is basically a reading file so when you will go on this button click you can see i created a one label called like a processing file please wait and i am reading the character so basically using the stream reader on a particular path i have written some data and through that one what i am going to do from read to end i am counting the length and here i am making a program busy for 5 second and based on that like i am like sending the count and based on that i am reading it so this is the file which i have written some text so here you can see these are the text i have written here now i am reading this file using the stream reader and based on that like uh, what is the count i am printing here so now when i will run this application and when i will click on that button it will take some time to read that particular file and based on that like at point of that time what we will see that screen will be stuck since we are using the single thread application or we can say the synchronous programming then it will give the problem so for an example now this is my window uh, screen and when i will click on the read we can see like now we can't move even we can't minimize this screen also so it give the problem and now after we find the result now what we can do even we can minimize it also and maximize it also means after the completing the task we can do other operation but while reading this application see we can't maximize and we can't even minimize it so it's uh, for an example this screen got stuck and end user will think like this screen is not responding properly so that is the biggest problem with the synchronous 
programming so in the next video we will see how we can overcome the synchronous programming in the c sharp so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you